Hey everybody, uh, Abby here. I'm here to do a quick video. Um, I don't know if you'll see... What do I have, like, all these great years? Um, I don't know if you will see this, the haul, or this video first, but I did buy one of the new Mac Pro palettes, um, and I just went through, um, you know, those eyeshadows and things. So, I wanted to show you guys, um, my Mac palette. Um, so, first I'm going to show you, like, my older palettes. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is my blush, and I have five blushes. Looks like this. I do like the older palettes, but, um, from the double that I just bought, the way that it feels, it feels a lot more sturdy. So, um, I have, the first blush is Cubic which is like a nice neutral rose kind of tone and then I have cantaloupe which is a more pinky like kind of natural color um, then I have this one that this more orangey one is my Highland Honey that is a limited edition um, this one is pink swoon which is just a nice neutral kind of bubblegum pink and then the last one is instant chic which is like a kind of peachy coral color, one of my all-time favorite blushes. So there's my blush palette. Um, then I have a palette for purple and pink, and this is how I label my palette right now. Um, and then they're labeled on the top. I know that some of these are a little different just because um, I've kind of moved things around. I don't love the way that I label it, but what are you going to do? Um, this first one here is her alter image, and let me see if I can get, like, just come closer. This is her alter image. This was from the Venomous Villain collection. The next one here is Shale, Smudge Violet, and Shadowy Lady, which is like a deep, dark purple. And then up here I have Ho. Um, this is Cran. Oh, I always forget. Cranberry and then Vainglorious is down there. Cranberry and Vainglorious are really similar, but Vainglorious is from again the uh, Venomous Films collection. Um, this one is actually not a Mac eyeshadow. This is um, one of my long film eyeshadows, but I'm putting it in here just because it tastes better. And then this is Deville. And this is just like a nice ruddy orange kind of color. And that was from the Venomous Films as well. Oh, sorry, the light, the natural light is washing these colors out. And then this is my blue green palette. And then. Uh, okay. This is Juxt. Then I have. Sorry, sharp, which is a nice chartreuse, and then um, lucky green, which is a nice chartreuse, but a little more green. This is a little more yellow. Then I have um, some chewis olive and a club. Then starting with the blues, I have tilts right here, which is like an aqua blue um, with kind of like a little blue undertone, um, like blue duochrome, and then deep truth. This is a aquadisiac which is a nice teal color and then this is another long comb shade there's the blue green and then the last is um my new double large pro palette um this thing is definitely hefty um it's very like a lot heavier it reminds me kind of like the inkblot packaging like the weight of the ink lot and then when you open it you just pull it open and you have them here. There is this little plexiglass panel so depending on what side you're using you just flip it across. So what's tough about these is there's nowhere to label them. So what I did was I took the box of the Pro palette and just wrote them down and I'm going to keep it in my stuff. Um, you'd think I need to know the names by now but Again, I'm trying to use my MAC eyeshadows a little more, um, but here we go. This is the light neutral side, 
And then this is Shroom Blanc type, which Blanc type is like nothing because it shattered when I deposited it. Um, and then you have Next to Nothing. Sorry, this really reflects bad. Um, then we have Sweet Joy, which was, um, I believe, Venomous Villain color. Then we have Grand Entrance, which is my all-time favorite eyeshadow. Wild by Nature, Modelette, and Moleskin, which is another great one. Then we have, like, more of the cool tone ones. This is Vex, Fresh Daisy, and CD Pearl. These probably kind of all look similar, but the duo chromes are a little different. And then we're going to move to the dark side. So this is how I have the dark side. I also have like my golden shades, um, my taupe shades in here, and like my warm, like bronzy colors. So we have Furiously Fab. Um, I did have Typographic, but again it shattered and it was getting everywhere so I just threw it away. Um, this is Dark Edge, Mulch, Patina, Style Predator, Amber Lights. Style Predator and Amber Lights are very similar. Style Predator was from Unlimited Edition Collection. And then we have Antique, which is my newest, and then Brown Script. Then over here I have my Topes. They are Style Knob, Copper Plate, and Notoriety, which is like a kind of taupe with a golden shimmer. So I hope you guys enjoyed my MAC eyeshadow collection. If you guys want to see looks with any of these colors um, or anything else, just let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.